Jonah back with another reaction. And we're back with TF2 Stereotypes. Yes, and we're back with everybody's favorite heavy weapons guy. Yes, we're here talking about the heavies weapons. Now, heavy is personally one of my favorites because, of course, and yeah. What is there to say about heavy that hasn't been memed about or said about already? So now we're going to watch the stereotypes by Soundsmith, of course. But before we watch this video, make sure you like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and of course follow me on all my social media. And if you want to support the channel, you're free to follow, follow and support me on Patreon. Now, let's see what the hell Soundsmith comes up with. Now, be nice to my boy. I like playing heavy. Let's get this video started in three, two, one, and play. So the heavy weapons guy is widely considered to be the face of TF2, since mm -hmm. he's featured on the box art, in the promotional material. He's yeah. the guy that most people think of when they think TF2. With yeah. that in mind, you'd think he'd be one of the most popular characters to play for new players and veterans alike, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you serious? Heavy doesn't get all that much love these days, as is evidenced by the ocean of soldier mains, as well as the huge amounts of clueless snipers and spies. But that doesn't mean that the heavy is free from stereotypes. So before we get started, let's quickly go. Give heavy some love. Again. Stereotypes don't mean everyone. There are exceptions to them. So don't go thinking that these videos are a set in stone rule on what you should think of players using a certain weapon. That's really dumb. Yeah. Okay. We ready? We're ready. All right. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what they got. The minigun. I mean, what is there to say about the minigun that isn't obvious just by looking at it? It's a massive behemoth of a gun. It does insane damage up close, and it will completely shred anyone that tries to take it head on. That said, the same thing applies to basically every heavy primary, so I guess this doesn't really say anything specific. If you see a heavy with a stock minigun deployed, you know they mean business, but the individual stereotype will really depend on what variant they have. That's true. Australiums, festives, skins, whatever. But that's a series for another day. Hmm. Variant stereotypes. You don't have a strange variant of the stock minigun, and you're competent at gambling against AI. I don't like this one, yeah. This weapon, which is a shame. I, I use it. Wish that Valve would give us a stranger fire for this, since it's. Mm. Oh yes, please! I love this gun. Kills. This guy just hates scouts. Yeah. I can't say I blame him really. If there's a fast Boston boy being annoying, then this is the fastest way to shut him down. It's yeah. also worth noting that the slowdown effect that this weapon has is affected by distance. It's a lot like damage fall off, but with stun mechanics. So it might not be enough to slow someone to a standstill like it used to do, but it is enough to throw you off just ever so slightly when you're rocket jumping, which is yeah. why KJ has taken to using this weapon a lot recently. Ah, uh, yes. Are you still there? Yes. Oh no. Oh god! That was one <laughs> bullet! And it threw me off just- uh, Jesus. I hate you. Ah, the brass beast. This weapon is a fairly common sight in MVM since oh, it has yeah. a straight damage buff, which is something that you can't spend credits on to upgrade. It's actually an active subject of debate which minigun is best for MVM, but if your medic's keeping you alive, this is amazing for putting out huge amounts oh, of Oh yeah! Now, I have carried so ever, MVM teams generally pretty new, and as a result, yeah. most Brass Beast heavies are completely clueless. The Tomislav, this one of my personal favorites. This guy swears by the Tomislav. He will argue day and night that it's the best minigun for heavy, and I guess he's got a point. It's really, really good. Is mm -hmm. it better than stock? Well, I don't know. You can form your own opinions on that. But Tomislav heavies are those guys that will never shut up about how superior their opinions are. But they also usually carry sandwiches, so I guess I can't be too mad at them. Yes, I carry a sandwich, and I will heal you. This guy's a cart heavy. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. This guy. Mm. Yeah, that one. I mean, it's honestly not a terrible strategy if you've got a pyro to work with. The cart negates the ammo consumption penalty, and the pyro can give you targets to focus down while you're revved up and super glued to the objective, so it's kind of smart in a way, but that doesn't make them any less annoying to deal with. <laughs> This guy is either really new or a fat scout. The vast majority of tryhard heavies use the sandwich, so the presence of a shotgun usually means that he's just messing around. That yeah. said, I'd be ignoring a huge chunk of shotgun heavies if I left out the new players. These guys haven't really unlocked anything for the heavy yet, but due to the nature of the class, they're still quite useful if you stick close to them and help them out. Yeah, that's fair. Family business. 
Okay, this guy is definitely a fat scout. Yeah. He's played the game long enough to get unlocks for the heavy, but he's still not using the sandwich. This takes the new player that hasn't unlocked anything stereotype out of the equation, and just leaves you with that one guy that isn't taking anything seriously, but is still somehow getting frags. I like this guy. The sandwich! You know what this is. It's not a weapon. It's a sandwich. It's a fucking sa Actually, it's a- it's a, a sandwich. There's a- a V in there. This is an item that, in my opinion, <laughs> at least, you use because you've been pressured by your team to actually do something helpful for once, since wow. you're obviously not spy checking enough, and you're not protecting your medic, and you're not looking for flankers, and you're not watching over your- Wow, he does not accept the sandwich? What's up with that? Well, you know what? If you can't beat him, heal him. Let's take a sandwich, or a robo sandwich if you're feeling particularly passive aggressive, and <clears throat> sling it at their faces. And maybe then they'll appreciate us. Because <clears throat> who doesn't love a healer, right? A good right click toss with this yeah. says to your team, I have trained all my life to give you this medium health pack. And by the time you're halfway through that statement, they're dead. Oh well. Outside of times 10 mode, you really rarely see this used. It does let you survive two headshots without dying though, which is why you'll see this slightly more often on payload maps or really anywhere with long sightlines. The buffalo stakes on this. This guy is not taking the game seriously no. at all. By all accounts, it's a really bad weapon, aside from maybe a flank heavy playstyle with the stake as a utility, and even then, it's just really bad. It is seen as the heavy meta in medieval mode, though, along with the killing gloves of boxing, so I guess it's not entirely useless. But either way, if you see a buffalo stake heavy, just don't expect him to get anything done. That way, when he goes on a huge tear with the frying pan, it's more of a pleasant surprise. Mm. The fish. These guys are usually new players? I mean, sure, there's the, I use this because I have a strange variant fist heavies, and maybe there are some people- Strangifying your fists. Their enemies, but it's most common to see on full stock heavies. Same deal as what yeah. I said about shotgun heavies. Stick close to them and help them out, and they'll be a surprisingly valuable asset to your team. These guys also like punching people, but they also really like Mr. Torg. Punch him so hard he explodes! Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is the meta for medieval. Yeah. You can go on huge tears with this, and it's amazing. Also, it pairs surprisingly well with Fat Scout. Crit shotguns are nothing to scoff at, but at any rate, you really don't see this weapon on heavies that are actually trying to play the game and capture the objective, so just keep that in mind. This is one of the most common weapons used by tryhard heavies. The speed boost is a fantastic a utility, despite the mini crits carrying over after you switch off of it. But anyway, uh, gloves are running urgently heavies probably take the game more seriously than your average hoovy does. Why would you... Why would you even use this weapon? I, it's... It's just so bad. Yeah, these have been... Okay. It was cool as a rapid heavy, though. Spirit heavies are using this because they're new and don't realize what it does, or they're just curious to see how bad it actually is. I mean, I'm well aware that there's probably going to be that one guy who will fight tooth and nail trying to prove that this is a good weapon, and now that I've said this, there's going to be a bunch of them, but I still can't think of one reason why you'd actually want to use this. The Fists of Steel. This is one of those weapons that can be used by both serious and not serious players. It's an amazing utility for tanking damage and making escapes for those that want to try hard, and it's also really good at preventing damage in order to get up close and punch people if you just want to be a fat dude running around punching people. There's something for everyone in this weapon, so you'll just have to judge them based off of other stuff. Like their hats. <laughs> Eviction notice. The person using this weapon probably isn't too comfortable with the heavy's default movement speed, but also thinks that the groove's downsides are a little bit too much, so they settle for a mediocre alternative. Either that, or they're a JoJo fan. Really? Stop plugging them. While this weapon is actually pretty good at stuffing ubers if random crits are a thing, the vast majority of holiday punch heavies are friendlies. What? Friendlies? Screw those guys, they're ruining TF2! Hey, shut up, Tryhard. It's just a game. Why don't you let people play how they want? I'm going to completely ignore any and all arguments you may have against me and instead attack you personally, you fucking pansy. Well, I'm going to completely ignore any and all arguments you may have and instead attack me personally, you fucking Tryhard. Everybody riot! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Okay. Yeah, smart, smart mode sounds good. Set the smart room, get, yeah, get the hell out of there. Ugh, god, a TF2 riot. 
And people wonder why Val isn't too happy with us. Okay, I'm back. Uh, is it over? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, anyway, that's all the weapons for Heavy that weren't already talked about in the multi-class episode. Yeah. NG is up next, so if you have any suggestions or input that you want me to see, leave a comment or shoot me a tweet or do whatever, I guess. I try to read everything I can and get as big of a sample size as possible, so don't hesitate to chip in. Uh, anyway, that's all I've got, so uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Yeah, I guess we will see you next time, John Smith. And with that, that was the heavy. Our big wholesome Russian boy. Awesome. And with that, we shall call it awesome. And yes. Ah, that was fun. Well, Another week's come and gone. Halloween is soon approaching, and I cannot wait to see all the kids in their costumes. <laughs> That's my favorite part of Halloween, seeing how into it the kids get. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll be dressing up, because, number one, this jacket's missing a couple of buttons. And I do not want to take off every single pin and button because it would take me an hour to get them off and then another hour to get them back on. So, yeah. Well, anyway, I hope everyone has a happy Halloween and a happy Nightmare Night. And as always, you know who I am. I know who you are. I will see you all in the next video. Come, Koa. We must prepare the candy bowls. It is time for the season of candy. And binge watching old Cartoon Network ha Halloween specials because those were awesome. Damn it, HBO, why'd you have to ruin it for us?